If you've seen something dozens, maybe hundreds of times, could you learn more if you just looked a bit closer? When did you first get the, the, the hunch that... 30 years ago. You've been digging for 30 years? Yes. The Chattanooga National Cemetery was ordered to be built on Christmas Day, 1863. White grave markers made of stone planted in this hallowed earth mark the resting place of soldiers of that era. Black and white, Union, some Confederate. The men of the USCT regiments, those were the all black regiments in the Civil War, built the cemetery where heroes rest today. They died in the hospital here in Chattanooga. They're buried in unknown graves in Chattanooga National Cemetery. You may remember historian Brad Quinlan from other stories we've told you in the past. I have scanned almost four million documents from the National Archives in D.C. So I dig into all sorts of stuff. One sort of that stuff is that thing he's been working on for 30 years that all started with this. Being told for over 10 years that Sherman had no men of African descent with him. General William Sherman's March to the Sea started in this spot in Ringgold. That campaign ripped straight through Georgia and sped up the end of the American Civil War. On May 8, 1864, Sherman issued order number 17 that all non-combatants, when this army went into battle, would become stretcher bearers. So these men that were doing laundry for the officers or cooking for the men, now were going into battle and becoming stretcher bearers. So he kept digging. So pulling the 99th Ohio regimental books, this sketch was in the book, written in the books next to the sketch they made quick time back to a place of safety where the physicians could attend them. Some of them were black and some of them were white. And now, for more than a decade, Hosea Simmons from Pulaski, Tennessee. Brad's research has led to history being rewritten. And it's led to now where this story is being told in the Kennesaw Mountain Battlefield film. There are reminders all around us of a war fought right through the heart of this place we call home. But how much of that history could use a second look? And what kind of impact could that have? These men deserve to ha have their names read out in our history. And Brad Quinlan says he's currently working to raise money to build a monument for those soldiers just outside the Marietta National Cemetery. Thanks for making News Channel 9 your trusted source for local news. For updates and the latest on breaking news, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.